Come, all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Come ye, come ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold him, born the king of angels. Come, let us adore him. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited. We are doing a whole Christmas brunch. It's actually going to be a brunch for dinner. That's just kind of the way it worked out, but I have all kinds of sweet and savory brunch recipes that are perfect for Christmas. They all incorporate either the tastes of Christmas. Some are just going to be like Christmas tree shaped. You'll see as I get into it. But one thing that I did this year is I actually wrote down my menu and I'm going to save it for every single year I got this idea from my mom she has literally every single Christmas that she's hosted the menu saved with the recipes and it's just a really fun thing to look back on and any new recipes she leaves like a little note next to it if it's good or not so that's what I'm starting to do new 2021 tradition so here is my Christmas brunch 2021 menu let me just run through it real quick and obviously we will make all of these things together and I will have the recipes linked down down below so first is a Nutella twist tree it's going to be like a pastry we're adding raspberries it sounds delicious next is a crescent roll breakfast casserole this is so easy I actually prepped the breakfast sausage the night before because the last thing I want to do when I'm hosting and having people over is stand in front of a greasy hot stove if I can avoid it so this will be really easy to put together and it kind of hits all of those savory breakfast type foods next we're making a donut hole tree this is kind of for decoration also if you have any donut lovers like my son they will love to eat this but i'm really excited to show you how to put that together and then i'm also doing like a taste of christmas charcuterie board i love going to trader joe's to pick up things for different seasonal charcuterie boards so that'll be really fun as well and then of course we are doing some holiday drinks the first one is this campfire cocktail i can't wait to try this i saw this recipe on pinterest and it looked so unique and so fun so hopefully that turns out well and for the kids I'm making sparkling sugar plum mocktails so let's jump right in I went to Trader Joe's yesterday for some food items and then I just couldn't pass up some of these beautiful florals to put together a Christmas bouquet for our brunch I love the idea of incorporating pine then I just have some classic white roses these pretty burgundy flowers and then I love to use eucalyptus just as a filler. Trader Joe's has just the best florals, I swear. So we're going to put this together first. I laid out all of my serving platters and casserole dishes and things just so I can wash them off before we start cooking, especially the ones that I used in my decor. And then also this one I bought recently. This is from the Hearth and Hand line. This is my, I want to say third wooden piece, including this one. And then my KitchenAid is on a big round platter. I just love collecting these and using them for hosting. I also use them for decor. This would be so cute to use as like a centerpiece table decor item. So anyway, I'm using this one for my charcuterie board. I will link it down below. All of these trays are also food safe, which is very important if they are going to be used for food, obviously. And then I laid out this Santa Claus platter. I found him at Goodwill over the summer and I cannot decide if he is creepy or cute. I think he lands in like, the both category. He's creepy and he's cute. I think it's the eyes. The eyes just creep me out, but maybe we'll use him. If nothing else, he's super festive. <laughs> 
I hope you all are having a wonderful holiday season so far. I cannot believe that it's almost Christmas already. For Christmas Day, I'm hosting dinner at our house, but I love brunch and thought it would be really fun to just put together some festive recipes as a special breakfast for dinner Friday meal, and they were all seriously so good and easy to put together. I usually leave my flower arrangements a little on the taller side so I can trim off a little on the bottoms every other day or so and this really helps them last so much longer and also switching out the water every day is a huge help with that as well. There is just nothing better than a fresh bouquet of flowers in your kitchen. It's just one of those small things that make me so happy seeing throughout the day. Oh, how I wish for the Christmas says of With the extra flowers that didn't fit in my pitcher, I just cut them up and put them in this little glass container. And I'm going to put this in my bathroom. That way it's just gonna look pretty and smell pretty. Just a little idea. I love making these tiny little bouquets as well with all of my leftover flowers and greenery. Oh, these roses smell so good. Okay, so the first recipe we're making is the Nutella Twist Tree. So I just laid out all of the ingredients. You're going to need parchment paper, puff pastry, two sheets of those, and then I also thawed these for about 40 minutes, one egg, Nutella, of course, the star of the show, and then for garnish, we're using raspberries and rosemary. I went ahead and preheated the oven to 375 degrees, and the recipe didn't say to do this, but I'm just using a rolling pin to make my dough a little flatter and bigger, and also just to press the seams together. Then I placed the two pastry layers on top of each other and used a pizza cutter to discard any overlap. Now I'm cutting a tree shape using my pizza cutter and then going in with a smaller knife in the corners. Make sure you go ahead and stir the Nutella and make sure it's at room temperature and then apply it with the back of a spoon. You really need to go slow when you're spreading it so the pastry doesn't tear. And then I also left about an inch around the edge. Then carefully line up and add the second layer back on top and using a butcher knife, I scored about one inch pieces along each side. And then I twisted the pieces towards me about three times each, just kind of depending on the length. The recipe said to brush lightly with egg wash, but I also saw some recipes recommending to brush with melted butter. So whichever method you prefer, the idea is just to help get that golden brown color. Mm -hmm. 
We're going to be baking this for 12 to 15 minutes. All right, so while our Nutella twist is in the oven, I'm going to put together our donut hole tree. So what you will need for this is a craft foam cone. This one is 12 inches. I believe it's from Michael's. And then you will also need about 80 to 90 donut holes. The most affordable way to do this is to go to Walmart. I believe these were $1.99 a piece, somewhere around there, but I priced it out and it's just a little less than going to Dunkin' Donuts, but whatever you prefer. So I picked up four boxes of the donut holes and then we are going to garnish it with powdered sugar and use a sifter if you have it. I don't have one, so I'm hoping this little mesh strainer will do. I think it will. And then you're also going to need toothpicks. Make sure you have around 80 to 90 as well. Um, these are just from Publix. I have 250 here. And then rosemary, again, for garnish. I decided to start at the base and circle all the way around and work my way up. One thing I would definitely recommend while doing this is to keep a paper towel or dish towel nearby to wipe your fingers on. Mine would get so slippery from the donut holes and then I would have trouble just getting a good grip on my toothpicks. So definitely something nearby to wipe your fingers on. But otherwise this process went really quickly and it was fun seeing it all come together. And if you see any holes at this point, don't worry we're going to be filling those in next Other thing I wanted to make sure to tell you guys is at the top I started breaking my toothpicks in half so they wouldn't touch in the middle. All right, here it is. Miles is going to be so excited. He loves donut holes. I went in and added some rosemary and then also just some little cranberries to help fill in any holes. So cute. And then obviously the powdered sugar is pretty messy as you can see, but I love how it looks. It kind of just looks like snow. Originally I was gonna put it on a pedestal and um, with this cute little wreath around it, but clearly lesson learned, it's not going to be easy to move. So definitely make sure you put it together where you plan on serving. Oh my gosh, this pastry turned out so cute. I wasn't sure if the pastry was going to puff up and lose its shape or if the Nutella would melt everywhere, but as you can see, it looks absolutely perfect. I let it cool for about five minutes and then added a little powdered sugar and raspberries on top, kind of to look like little ornaments. Okay, so I have everything laid out to make our breakfast casserole. This should taste so good. It has so many yummy ingredients in it. You're gonna need milk. I have my brown sausage here, salt and pepper, rosemary, some olive oil to spray the pan with, 
crescent rolls, you're just gonna need one container of those, five eggs, and cheddar cheese. hot Italian ground sausage for this recipe and it added the perfect touch of heat without being too much. And then on top I added about one to one and a half cups of cheese, basically just making sure to cover the sausage with it. And the recipe called for one teaspoon of rosemary, but I definitely used more around one tablespoon and I love the way it tasted. The rosemary flavor really set it apart from just an everyday breakfast casserole. And this goes in the oven at 400 degrees for 20 minutes or so, just long enough for the egg to set. I did put mine in the middle rack just so the crescent had a chance to cook and ours came out so crispy and delicious. I love this recipe, highly recommend. Now I want to show you everything I picked up for my charcuterie board. A lot of this stuff is from Trader Joe's. Like I said, I love stopping there for seasonal charcuterie boards. They always just have really fun cheeses and meats and things like that. So over here I just grabbed this turkey summer sausage. These are one of my favorite nuts from Trader Joe's, the truffle Marcona almonds. They also have some rosemary ones that are really good as well. This is seasonal their fig butter. I love to have this just as an option um, to dip on my charcuterie board. Some salami. This cranberry goat cheese sounded so perfect for Christmas. Blackberries. Some thyme, more just for the look. This really cute snowman marshmallow is from Target and I just thought that would look really cute in there. If you've never had these before, they're so good and Trader Joe's comes out with them every Christmas. This is another seasonal cheese that I grabbed from Trader Joe's, sounded really good. And then I picked up these crackers, thought they would just be something different to have on our board. Um, they're cracker crisps and then wafers, just something a little bit different than a typical cracker. So. We are going to be putting them on my new serving tray. When I'm putting together a charcuterie board, I first like to slice all of my cheeses and meats and unpackage everything and lay it out so I can see it and just kind of map out in my head where I want things to go. The fig butter is going in a bowl right in the middle and then I cut the goat cheese in half and put one on each side. I like to mirror each thing on either side so people at both ends have a chance to try everything. I like to think of my charcuterie boards as a type of art form. I like to just go with the flow, starting with the larger items and then filling things in with the smaller items like the nuts and the berries at the end. I think it's very fun and relaxing and there's always something on these boards for everyone, which I love. Okay, now we are whipping up our Christmas cocktail. This is the Campfire Martini. I've never tried it, but it looked so delicious and really fun. So I just picked up some new glasses. We really needed these from Target. 
And then I have chocolate syrup to rim the glasses with. Also some crushed graham crackers. We're going to be adding roasted marshmallows in at the very end. You're going to need some sort of martini shaker with ice, Bailey's Irish cream. I don't know why that's not focusing. There we go. And then either whole milk or cream. The recipe called for two parts Baileys and two parts cream or milk, and I just went ahead and eyeballed it as I usually do. Santa's busy saying ho, ho, ho We're feeling jolly eating Christmas cake And then we go skating on the frozen lake Saying hi to every friendly face And later we warm up by the fireplace Carolers are singing So what I'm doing for the kids for a Christmas mocktail is Trader Joe's has this sugar plum sparkling juice it's called a sparkling beverage but i'm pretty sure it's just sparkling juice so i'm just pouring that in a cup and topping it with these really cute marshmallows also found from target all right so obviously we have to taste test the drink Oh my gosh <laughs> that is delicious it's so simple obviously if you like Bailey's you're going to like it there's not really much added to the actual drink but the stuff around the rim just makes it taste so good and then obviously the marshmallow is just a really fun touch that'll be so delicious to drink at the end so yum definitely recommend all right friends here is the whole setup I really love how all of this turned out. It looks great. I think everything's going to taste great. We will taste test it next and let you know. Really impressed with this tree. This was the one I was most nervous about. This smells delicious with the rosemary. Here is a fun Christmas charcuterie board. Love that. We have Miles' little drink, all of the adult beverages the donut tree and the floral arrangement. I hope you guys got some inspiration and ideas from today's video. If you liked this and want to see more videos like this from me, give it a thumbs up and let me know because these are just one of my favorite videos to make. It's so much fun putting together a menu and then just seeing it all set up. So much fun. When are we going to eat this? Try your drink. Okay, what, what is the one with the snowflake? Oh, this one? Yeah, want to try it? Yeah. Okay, I hope I don't bite. That bite, I lose the game. <laughs> You've got stuff all over your face. Good. What does it taste like? Mm. Is it sparkly? Yeah, and this is good. <laughs> the marshmallow's good? How did you make these with? I just bought those at the store. But the juice is sugar plum. Sparkling sugar plum. Okay. Oh, the Christmas tree. Miles, look. Do you see a donut no. tree? Look. Look right here. Nope. You're not looking at it. I shot it. That's yeah. not it. Look right here. That's all donut oh, holes my. on that tree. I this is the donut tree, but that's it. This is a no this is a Nutella pastry tree, which will be Plus, equally delicious. Guys, you guys, you